What's up YouTube community, Bernd here, back with another lesson video for you. First of all, it's great to see the channel growing so quickly. Welcome to all new subscribers and thanks a lot for all the comments you leave below the videos. It's really great to see a positive learning environment developing on here and it's also a lot of fun for me personally to dig very deep into the different lesson topics every week with you. Before we start, a really big thank you also goes out to all new members of my Shred Guitar community over at Patreon. I release all of those video lessons a little bit earlier there and also add the guitar profiles, practice backing tracks and PDF tab sheets. But let's get into this week's lesson topic right now. Our main focus is the pentatonic scale and how to compose some fast and creative shred licks in this context. Here's the practical example I recorded for you this week. So the pentatonic scale is often ignored by advanced or even intermediate players because it's often considered a beginner scale. It only consists out of five notes, while the popular modes or common shred guitar scales like harmonic minor, melodic minor or phrygian dominant for example consists out of seven notes, hence the name heptatonic scales. That kind of system offers more possibilities for creative lick writing and these scales are almost exclusively played as free note per string patterns. That way we can easily come up with some very fast licks in triplets, like we already discussed on this channel, like this one for example. <laughs> Contrary to that style of licks, most players hear something like that in their head when the word pentatonic is mentioned. So this scale is often reduced to these cliché licks that we all started out with, I guess, and not often used in a shred guitar context. The first interesting thing you can do here is extend the usual two note per string pattern to a three note per string pattern for this scale. Since we only have five notes total here to work with in different octaves, there will be quite some stretching involved to get these three note per string shapes, but we get a pretty unique sound that way, since it combines the playing approach of heptatonic scales with the sound of the pentatonic scale. This is actually the basic principle I used to construct the lick for this week. So here's that approach demonstrated in the A minor pentatonic scale. This is the classic two note per string pattern I'm sure you're familiar with already. For the lick I was using the exact same notes but I was distributing them in a different way. Here's the pattern up to the D string. A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E. So exactly the same as playing A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E. Just more interesting possibilities for phrasing since it's three notes per string now. Once again, A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E. Speeding up two note per string phrases is actually pretty hard, since you can't really form patterns that easily and it often ends with uninspired legato licks, like that one for example, I'm sure you're familiar with it. There are also some players that almost focus on this scale completely and play super fast and also original phrases, also with the two notes per string approach, but I was never a huge fan of that personally, as always it's just a matter of taste. So to quickly reconstruct the composition process of the lick this morning, I was searching for a way to connect each scale position on each string and I came up with this kind of system. <laughs> That sounds pretty nice and allows me to extend the phrase a little bit. So short patterns like that always sound a bit better than just running up and down the scale like that for example. The next approach I had in mind was extending the shape even further than three notes per string by adding tapped notes. But I still limited myself to the notes I have in the A minor pentatonic scale, so no additional notes are allowed for this example. Normally I would maybe add the major 6 for a little Dorian flavor, the raised 7th scale degree for a harmonic minor touch or some other harmonic extensions, but for this demonstration I wanted to limit myself intentionally to show you a pure pentatonic approach so to say. So when I arrived at the D string I introduced some tapping since the patterns were repeated and already used a couple of times. I'm playing the notes C, D and E up here on the D string. 
C, D, E. And I was extending this pattern with the notes G, A and C once again one octave higher. That sounds quite interesting because a full octave is covered on one string and when you speed it up it sounds really really cool in my opinion. So after the short tapping section on the D string I wanted to add another interesting layer by also including a pull off to the G string next. The first pattern interestingly starts with a group of quintuplets since we only have 5 notes here before we move to the full 6 note phrases. One, two, three, four, five. University. One, two, three, four, five. So the first pattern is already quite challenging. And then I'm moving up to tapping C, D and E. And I'm always pulling off to the open G string that is also a part of the A minor pentatonic scale. Whenever you include pull off phrases in your guitar solo on any string, you also need to make sure that the open string is part of the harmonic context you're actually playing in. Then I ended the phrase with a pretty cool bend and that's where I break the pentatonic barrier a little bit by bending up to the major second B here. And I'm adding G here on top for a minor 6 interval bend. Also including a little bit of tremolo action right here. For some extra nice dissonance you can also play the open B string for this bend. That's what I did with the slow example that I played in the beginning. Sounds pretty cool. So that was just a super quick introduction to my mindset concerning the composition of shred guitar licks in the pentatonic scale. I really like to use these so-called stretch pentatonic shapes for my solos now and then and as soon as you extend the usual two note per string shapes you end up with some really cool possibilities. If you think creatively and work with a lot of different techniques and patterns, you will come up with some great stuff for sure. The practice backing track for this lick, the guitar profiles for the lesson and the PDF tab sheets are online on Patreon for our members. Remember to subscribe on here to get notified for the weekly guitar lessons on here with me. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video or if you learned something new and a comment in case you have any question that I could answer for you. Thanks a lot for tuning in today and I will see you in the next lesson. All the best and have fun practicing.